Hello, and welcome to Low Fidelity. Me too. Yep. I'm Kevin Seal. And this is Philo Seal. Yep. And uh, this is a music game show. There's no way to prepare for this show because you've been preparing for it your entire life. Uh, you choose your own buzzer word to buzz in, and there's never a penalty for guessing. Guessing is encouraged. Tonight's musical guest is Jake Wood, and we will hear more from him later. Congratulations to our most recent Play at Home Facebook champion. Uh, this week it was Cat Ebster again. Uh, so multiple titles for Cat Ebster. Uh, but let's meet our contestants and congratulations, Cat. Kyle Beckham, welcome. Kyle Beckham has a PhD in education, uh, but he says, quote, don't call me no fucking doctor. Um, so we will not, we will not, but uh, he's lived in Virginia, Alaska, and Hawaii, but now makes his home in San Francisco. He has a collection of about 180 tabletop board games. So tabletop board games, like, is Risk a tabletop board game? You don't play Risk here. That's <laughs> basic. <laughs> so what, what kind of board games are we talking about? What, what constitutes a tabletop board game? I mean, Risk is a tabletop board game, but I'm talking about, like, actual strategy games where you've got to think ahead, manage resources. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So is Catan in that? Yeah, Catan's Baton, a good gateway okay. into, the, into the depths. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All right, a, a starter a starter piece to, to heading into that world? Okay. Um, I'm, I'm a board game hipster, so <laughs> not, all right. not, not ashamed at all about that. Mm -hmm, good. Uh, Kyle also has a brown belt in Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, which uh, this young man who was just on camera with me has been studying. Uh, I have not. I quit. Well, yeah, <laughs> temporarily not happening at least. Uh, like Kyle also has a lot of love for thrash and grindcore, and his current favorite band in that world is Cattle Decapitation. And because we've mentioned them here, Cattle Decapitation will not be in the game today. Uh, so no, no cattle questions, no decapitation questions. Yeah, um, just letting you know. You will be playing against your friend, Eleanor Wade. Welcome, Eleanor. Hey. Eleanor grew up in Detroit, but she has been in Washington, D.C. for the past decade. She sings and plays guitar and had a band called Normal Party. Uh, Eleanor's father is a professional musician. He's a drummer. For Eleanor, though, it's more about other instruments, all other instruments. Uh, and she says that she had a huge chip on her shoulder about playing other instruments and not playing drums growing up, which is entirely understandable. Uh, she would kill to see a collaboration between Outkast and Stevie Nicks, which Sounds brilliant. So welcome, Eleanor. Thanks, happy to be here. Glad to have you both. And I'd like to introduce you both to the best co-host in the world, Christopher Fortier. Christopher. Uh, hold on, I'll, I'll, I'll totally be right with you guys. Um, sure, man, hey, I gotta, uh, Barack, man, I gotta, I gotta do the show now. I, I love you, man, thank you. And say hi to Michelle and the kids, right on. Okay, peace, later, bye. Um, so, Weirdest thing, I woke up on the wrong side of the bed. I just, I was having an off day. I woke up mad and somehow uh, Barack Obama and I, we play a lot of, uh, we play a lot of online chess. Um, it's a great deal of fun, but somehow he just knows when I'm having a shitty day, you know, and he'll ring me up, just happened to call me and uh, gotta talk to him later. Sorry, Barack. Anyway, excited that you're here. Gonna celebrate a few musical birthdays. Uh, um, today we have uh, John Bowser Bauman of Sha Na Na. It's his birthday today. Uh, Fred Sonic Smith of the MC5. It's his yes! birthday. Yes. Uh, that's the truth. Uh, it's it's Nas's birthday today. Um, and two members of Leonard Skinnerd. Two, born the same day. Steve Gaines and Ed King. I believe both deceased. Um, <laughs> I was about to say, are they survived the plane crash? Right. Are there any of those guys left? <laughs> Uh, hey, I want to talk about something dreadfully important, not Leonard Skinner and not Barack Obama. Um, let's talk about your buzzer words. Eleanor, what's yours going to be? Mbop. Mbop. <laughs> Courtesy of Hanson. Mm -hmm. Right on. Mbop it is. And Kyle Beckham, sir, what is, what's yours going yours to be? Bricknology. Bricknology. <laughs> All right. Trick. Tricknology. Tricknology. Mm -hmm. My yep. mistake. Now I get it. Right on. Let's uh, let's play a low fidelity music trivia game show, Kevin. What do you think? Yeah, yeah, it's time. Let's do it. Okay. First category is finish it. I start a lyric, you finish it. 
Uh, the line that we're leading up to may be the title of the song. It may not. But you can interrupt me at any time, and Christopher will uh, hear your buzzer word and call on you if you want to finish it. I'm waiting for the date for the man who demands respect because he was great. Come on, I'm on a one mission to get a politician to honor. Well, he's a goner. By the time I, technology, by the time I get to Arizona. That is correct, yes. First points on the board for Kyle Beckham. All right, well played. Next one. And Christopher, if you can do the answers for this one. Got you. I'd appreciate it. Okay. I know you feel me now. Yes. I know you hear me loud. Yes. I scream it loud and proud. Yes. Missy gonna blow it down. Yes. People gonna play me now. Yes. In and out of town. I'm back. Illinois, what do you got? I'm the best around. With yeah. the that crazy is... style. Sound. Absolutely correct. Yes. Yes, well played. Eleanor has tied it up. Yes. What song your, is this? <laughs> that was Missy. Your freak on. Missy Elliott. Get your freak on. Get your Man, freak on. You strip away the music and it just. Yes. I, yeah, no. right? <laughs> yeah. Yep. <laughs> All right. Tie game. 1 1. Cash rules everything around me. Cream, get the Technology. money. Technology. Dollar, dollar uh, bill, y'all. That's right. Cream, Wu Tang Clan. Engine, engine number nine on the New York Transit line. Technology. If my, if my train falls off the tracks, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. Back on the scene. Crispy right. And clean. Yes. Exactly. The choice is yours, Black Sheep. And now the last in the category. I'm the authentic poet to get lyrical. For you to beat me, it's gonna take a miracle. And stepping to me, you know, that's the wrong move. So what you want, Hobbs? Technology. Cut. Dope or dog food. Yes. Big Daddy Dope Kane. Dog. Yep. Ain't no half stepping, Big Daddy Kane. Well played. Next category, <laughs> like Christopher Fortier. And the next category is, of course, the moment you've all been waiting for, so we put it in the middle. Uh, it's uh, it's about naming that tune, and uh, n not coincidentally, it's called Name That Tune. The instructions are, name that tune. Uh, here's the first one. It requires this funky-ass drumbeat. Eleanor. Is it cool like that? That is correct. Yeah. I didn't even get to the... <laughs> didn't even get there. It's nice to hear it, though. So it thanks. is nice. <laughs> Thank you for that. Uh, okay, I gotta move my computer to get it off the electric piano. And there it goes. All right, better. Okay, so I'm gonna preface this by saying that the first thing you're gonna hear is a horn line. So have that in mind, that this is pulled by horns in the actual song. Technology. Kyle? Oh, check the rhyme, y'all. Yes, that is check the rhyme. Tribe Called Quest. Back I was to about you. to say another tribe song. I was like, don't mess it up. <laughs> nah. uh, cool. Had to make a couple adjustments to, I uh, had to talk to my drummer for a second. <laughs> ah, there we are. And here we go.
Christopher, what was that? Uh, uh, that would be Black Star's Respiration. Uh, <laughs> I was like, I know this song. It's quite a hook, honestly. Kevin, you got the last one? I got the last one. Okay. It goes a little something like this. A little something like this. I hope I come somewhere here. All right. Yes. Technology, outcast. Uh, <laughs> roses really smell like doo doo. Roses. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Sweaty. Buzzer. Sweaty. And three <laughs> at halftime. <laughs> yeah, that brings us to halftime, and that brings us to our musical guest. Our musical guest today, Christopher, and I met him uh, sharing a bill with his band, Super Adventure Club. Um, He's now the drummer in the San Francisco production of Hamilton. Uh, his name is Jake Wood, and take it away, Jake Wood. Jake Wood, yes, that was fantastic. Now I want to go watch some Transformers reruns. Um, yeah, beautiful, beautiful work. Thank you for being our guest. All right, our next category is a brand new category that we've never had on Low Fidelity. Take it away, Christopher Fortier. Have you ever actually gotten a Whitman sampler? Maybe for some sort of holiday gift, I'm not exactly sure. You know, you open it up, it's got all the different types and all the different things. Uh, the Cream Tangerine, the Montella Mart, um, the, uh, the crunchy frog, all those things. Um, well, uh, this is a brand new category. We've ne never done it before. It's called Whitman's Sampler, and it's all about sampling in the world of hip hop. Uh, here's how it's going to go. I'm going to describe and play for you a quick snippet of the root or the hook, um, 
of a hip hop song. Your job, tell me about the hip hop song that used it. I'll give you the year it actually happened to give you a little extra guidance. Um, here's the rub. If we post this on YouTube where we, uh, we archive all of our episodes, uh, they'll get mad at us if I play too much of a particular song. And so there are 2.7 seconds worth of audio clue. And I hope you hit the heart of the sample. <laughs> I hope I did too. <laughs> uh, let's begin, shall we? Whitman's sampler, first time ever. Um, this 1996 hook is a sample from Cool and the Gang's Ladies' Night. Technology. Wow. Ladies' Night. But what with Missy and Lil' Kim and all them. <laughs> yes, sir. You are correct. I'm already so excited. The name of the song. <laughs> it's basically <laughs> culture. It was a straight. That was a straight trap. <laughs> uh, 2004. This hook features organ and conga from Curtis Mayfield's Little Child Running Wild from the Superfly soundtrack goes like this. I'm gonna warn you right now, this is the hard one. I'll play it again. <laughs> I knew it was hard going in. Uh, that would be Two Miles an Hour by Ludacris from the Red Light District LP. There was also an alternate answer. It could have also been by Ninth Wonder, Justify My Thug. Um, but yeah, I knew that was a hard one. This one's actually a gimme, and it's and all that was about like the B So That was like a Ludacris B-side. <laughs> <Kind of. Yeah. laughs> that one was straight was... out mean on my part. <laughs> So we'll follow it up with a gimme. So jump in quick. 1989, this hook is built on Bob Duro's Three is a Magic Number from Schoolhouse Rocks. Nineteen eighty-nine hip hop track. We'll play it for you, play the original for you again. Wait, Umbob. Eleanor. Is this, is this De La Soul magic number? Thumbs up. Dang. That is correct, my friend. Brilliant. The on the nose <laughs> titles are really throwing me off. <laughs> All right, we got two more to go. This 2005 hook features I Got a Woman by Ray Charles. It was actually sung by actor Jamie Foxx. Technology. Yep. Kyle. Gold digger. Oh, this is the background. <laughs> that is correct. Hold on. We're. Up. we're up. Two point seven seconds of bliss. All right, last one for Whitman's sampler. And thank you so much for making the debut of Whitman's sampler a success. Here's the last one. This 1993 hook is built on Dusty Springfield's "Son of a Preacher Man." I don't know. Oh. Wait, I think it's Cypress Hill, but I don't know what song it is. Hits from the bomb. Hits from the yeah. <laughs> Wade can have that point. <laughs> Eleanor, I believe you have just been gifted a point. And uh, so and I love it. 
when uh, I love it when the contestants work together for the greater good. And that's been Whitman's Sampler. Thank you so much for playing. Kevin, what do we got coming up? Yeah, uh, we got a category that we haven't seen in months. This category is called Triple Tag. And this is how it works. I give you three album titles and you tell me the artist who put out those albums. Okay. If you know it after one, buzz in early. But here's the first one. Edutainment, by all means necessary, criminal minded. Edutainment, by all means necessary. Eleanor. I didn't want to answer this while Kyle was incapacitated. I felt that was unfair. Uh, is it BDP? Yes. Yes. That's You're right. beautiful, fantastic KRS one. Yeah. The ecstatic, the new danger, black on both sides. Technology, most deaf. Ah. That is right. Most deaf. The recession, trap or die three. Thug motivation 102, the inspiration. Technology, young Jeezy. Ah! Eating that, eating that trap lunch from you. Taking your lunch, Wade. <laughs> <laughs> Feedback. Power in numbers, quality control. Technology. J5. Yep. Dress five. And last one in the category. The block is hot. I am not a human being. The Carter Four. Umba. Eleanor. Lil Wayne. Lil Wayne is correct. And that brings us to our last category of the game. Christopher Fortier, tell him what it is. It's called Helter Shelter, in point of fact. Uh, and it's the wild game where we give you, it's a very Dadaist game. We give you a particular category of everything you can think of about this. Um, and today, it's going to be every song title or album title you can think of that talks about New York. You have 60 seconds. It talks about New York. What are all the categories we can use? In fact, write this down at the top of your paper, if you will, so that way you can refer back. Every song title or album title or lyric I'm adding that in now because I'm a wild man. Song title, album title, lyric that you can accurately write down that mentions New York. You got 60 seconds and I'll wait until your, uh, wait until your notes are ready to go. And Kevin, you wanna start the clock? Yeah, clock starts now. seconds. Pencil down. All right. So Kyle, let's see what you found in that 60 seconds. Supposed to hold it up? Or do you want me to? You can just, just read them off. off. Okay, I'm gonna read them off. I got New York State of Mind, Illmatic, the bridge is over, by all means necessary, the message, Curtis Blow, the album, Blueprint, Takeover, The Infamous, Hard Knock Life, In My Life Volume, I forget the phone. In My Lifetime, Jay-Z's uh, first album, uh, Dog Food by Dog Pound, um, and then uh, lyrics, New York, New York, Big City of Dreams, um, 
and then I froze up. <laughs> fourteen. Wait, How many was that? That's that was fourteen. I counted fourteen from that. Uh, fourteen. Yeah. Fourteen. Fourteen. I was literally like just named Jay Z albums. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> I don't think he's been anywhere other than New York. If you want a hit, put New York in it, you know? (laughs) All right. Eleanor, what did you find? Can I repeat stuff? Have I had it written down, or is that not? Uh, Oh, yeah, you'll have some of this. Yeah, yeah. This is definitely not Boggle. Right. All right, I got Welcome to New York City by Cameron, Empire State of Mind, I Run New York, album and song, The Bridge is Over, Where Brooklyn At, No Sleep Till Brooklyn, New York State of Mind, Brooklyn's Finest, South Bronx by BDP, Heavens in New York, and Open Letter to NYC. Is that 12 or 11? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. One was a song and album, so. 11. Right. It's 11, It's tw- I think it's 12 if you count the album and the song. Judge right. say yes. Right. Well, it's a close finish, but Kyle hung on to his lead with a 14-point Helter Shelter, which I don't know if we've ever had 14 points in Helter Shelter. That's more First than time. As the Youngs yeah. do. Yeah. <laughs> Congratulations. Uh... <laughs> Honestly, Helter Shelter, we've had a couple where it's like, uh, I got four. There's a lot of that. <laughs> yeah, well, in, in other people's defense, you asked us to name hip-hop songs that involve New York. So. Right. <laughs> I think, I think like, we got off a little easy. <laughs> there was a name name <laughs> rock songs about love. <laughs> right. Right. <laughs> rock songs that feature a snare drum. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Um, Congratulations to you both. You were brilliant. Yes. Yeah, well played. Thank you for for being on the show. Thank you to Jake Wood for being our musical guest. Thank you to Jay Lee, our producer, to Roger Gardner and Jillian Nash, our directors and editors, uh, and to everyone else who works on this show. Uh, Ruben Rye, Kimo Ball, uh, Christian Santos. Hazel Gardner. Hazel Gardner, yes. Yeah, and Isabel Gardner. Is right? Delegate. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, thank you all. Until next time, stay home, stay safe, keep it lo-fi. I'm Kevin Seal. We're here in Midtown Manhattan, one block from where David Letterman shoots The Late Show, one block from Radio City Music Hall. This is a great place to see jazz. It's called Iridium Jazz Club. We're going to talk to Ron Sturm, who's the owner of Iridium, and we're going to hear Eddie Daniels, one of the greatest jazz clarinetists in the world. Let's take a listen. So, Exifer, this is where the sound engineer sits. This is great. I love this seat. Great view. Mm -hmm. Clear eye contact with the musicians. Yeah, and you're pretty close to speaker level as well. It's uh, it's set up to to do what a, uh, a guy mixing a jazz show really needs to do, which is, uh, which is make sure the band is as happy as possible and then they play away. Right. Um, all of the, uh, the fact that they've even put this much thought into it is fantastic. Um, Ron mentioned that they, they reinforced the walls, which is great, and they like sanded down the stage to make for a really dry atmosphere um, where all of your instrumental sounds are going to be very articulate um, and sharp and, uh, and I would love mixing from this position. I can see why he thinks that this is the best seat in the house.